As President and Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Western and to our university's 300 convocation. Today's convocation is particularly meaningful as we are celebrating the official installation of Dr. Joseph Rotman as the 21st Chancellor of this great university. The office of the Chancellor is a very important one in the university community. Our Chancellor serves as a spokesperson for the values and aspirations of the university and as a model of community leadership for our graduating students. Joseph, the Western community is deeply honored to welcome you as our new Chancellor. As part of this celebration, we are delighted to have so many friends and distinguished visitors with us this afternoon. In addition to our graduates and their guests, I wish to welcome members of our new Chancellor's family, including his wife, Dr. Sandra Rotman, and their children, Janice and Cam. We are pleased that our government officials, members of our own Board of Governors and Senate, as well as representatives from other Canadian universities, colleges, and organizations have joined us on this very special day of celebration. I now call upon Mr. Stephen Coxford, Chair of the Board of Governors, to announce the election of the Chancellor and to administer the Declaration of Election and Oath of Office. Will the Chancellor-elect please rise? In accordance with the University of Western Ontario Act, the Electoral Board, meeting in duly constituted session, elected Joseph Rotman as Chancellor of the University for a term expiring June 30, 2016. Dr. Joseph L. Rotman is a highly regarded businessman and philanthropist. He is a graduate of Western's Faculty of Arts and Humanities and in 2009, he received an honorary degree from Western. Dr. Rotman is the benefactor of the Rotman Institute of Philosophy within Western's Faculty of Arts and Humanities. Dr. Rotman is an officer of the Order of Canada. He has been inducted into the Canadian Business Hall of Fame as a companion, and he received the Lifetime Achievement Award from both Life Sciences Ontario and the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year program. Together, he and Sandra have been honored for their philanthropic leadership with the Outstanding Philanthropist Award by the Association of Fundraising Professionals. Dr. Rodman is a man of great integrity and passion, one who has, given, has been a champion of learning throughout his lifetime and one who has given back much to his community. We are honored to install Joseph Rodman as Western's 21st Chancellor. Western takes great pride in the duty I, as chair, now perform in administering the Pledge of Office. Do you, Joseph Rotman, pledge yourself to keep and preserve well and faithfully during your term of office the statutes, liberties, customs, rights, and privileges of the university and to promote its well-being and that of its members insofar as you are able? I do so pledge myself. As Vice Chancellor of the University and Chair of Senate, I now install you, Joseph Rotman, in the office of Chancellor, and by virtue of the authority vested in me, charge you with the responsibilities pertaining to that office. I now request the Secretary of the Senate to robe you in the official gown and cap of the Chancellor of the University of Western Ontario.
Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chancellor. I present to you the Mace of the University and hereby grant you uh, the authority, um, and, well, sorry, <laughs> accept it as a symbol of your authority. I accept the Mace and ask that you place it in position before me to signify the commencement of convocation. You want to accept it? It is now my pleasure to invite the official visitors representing our sister institution across Canada to come forward and offer greetings to Chancellor Rotman. The Chief Public Auditor will introduce the representatives. Representing Huron University College, Stephen McClatchy. From Brescia University College, Colleen Hanich. For King's University College, Sauro Camelletti. Representing Dalhousie University, Lynn Coveney. From McGill University, Stephen Halperin. From Victoria University, Wendy Cecil. <laughs> Representing St. Jerome's University are James uh, Beingessner and Catherine Bergman. For the University of Manitoba, Michael Bancroft. For McMaster University, Jane Toswell. Representing the Memorial University of Newfoundland, Dale Inder. From the University of Toronto, David Peterson. Representing Ryerson University, Lawrence Bloomberg. Representing the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, Tim McTiernan.
on behalf of all assembled here today, it is my pleasure to invite Chancellor Joe Rotman to address convocation. Chair of the Board of Governors, President Chakma, past chancellors from Western, representatives from other universities, senators, alumni, parents, faculty, honored guests, but most importantly, you graduates. Let me first express my deep and sincere appreciation to the Electoral Board for honoring me as Western's 21st Chancellor. This is a great privilege that I am proud to accept. As your Chancellor, I will do my best for the university and for the community of higher learning. What I have decided to address with you today is that your generation are being called upon to solve very difficult challenges that are occurring in business, in government, and society. And there are many reasons for this occurring. For example, we are experiencing a transformation from science and technology. We have also seen the financial chaos that our generation allowed to happen in the last 10 to 15 years. And the list goes on. I believe that the Western mission and mandate as one of Canada's great academic institutions will help us bring about a new and a better era for our society. First, by having developed you, graduates, as leaders, as well as through the university research efforts. As your alma mater, I propose that Western could be and should be the vehicle through which you possibly help and hopefully address the changes that are needed. When I graduated from Forest Hill Collegiate in Toronto, it was 1954. My highest mark was a C plus. <laughs> as was the culture at the time, as a son of an immigrant family, if you lived in Toronto, you applied to the University of Toronto. However, I wasn't accepted, I, and don't be surprised with a C plus. The faculty that turned me down is now named the Rotman Commerce Program. <laughs> you clap, I laugh. <laughs> I then applied to Western and was accepted. Instead of Western, <laughs> Instead of Western being a second choice, in fact, it turned out to be the best thing to happen to me and has remained a most powerful influence on my career. I can say without any hesitation or doubt, Western had a significant impact on whatever success I personally have enjoyed. And my circumstances are a perfect example of why Western is ranked over the last 10 years as Canada's top student experience by the Globe and Mail Student Survey. The results of the survey conclude that, I quote, Western has ranked top in the country for 10 of 10 years of the survey's history, with the last year seeing Western's rank number one in 13 of the 17 categories. Western culture has a belief, and I quote, the Western experience develops leaders, creates a global context for learning and living, and values research and the creation of new knowledge that has a real impact on society. As you decide, graduates, how to play your role in helping to solve our current problems, what better place could you align with than Western? Therefore, use Western in your future in any way 
that seems constructive for you personally. When I came to London, by luck, I registered for a subject called philosophy. The only reason was because it was a course which I didn't take in high school, and therefore I didn't have a C minus or a D <laughs> as a past record of achievement. Dr. Alistair Johnson, the head of the department, was my professor in 101, and he took a personal interest in me. By the end of that first year, I became interested in learning and enraptured by philosophy. I started to think, finally, and I learned to ask questions. This one individual teacher changed my life, and his impact and influence as a teacher and as a philosopher stayed with me. I would like all of you to thank the current faculty and the leaders of Western for their commitment to education, to Western, and to you. You graduates are so fortunate to have had their ability, experience, to have guided you. I would therefore ask, in a very unusual way, for all of you to stand for these teachers and for these academic leaders and offer our standing ovation. But the Western experience just starts with academic. I participated in the debating society, which was challenging and made discussion fascinating for me. As you often had to argue the exact opposite of what you believed. The social experience in making friends was fantastic. Whether it was the fraternity parties or the Wednesday night dances at Vic Hospital, they were great. Local families invited us into their homes. And these are just a few examples. Therefore, I personally developed a loyalty, an obligation, and a feeling of responsibility, as have other graduates. And here is a quote from a medical school graduate from 2002. I quote, I would argue that this experience at Western for me has given me a great privilege. But with that privilege comes enormous responsibility. That leads me not only to urge you to use Western for yourselves, but I am now suggesting that you may have an obligation and a responsibility to preserve and protect this institution in order to allow it to thrive. I am asking you to make this commitment as your new chancellor to these educators, to this institution that helped you. I believe this is a unique, mom unique moment in the history and evolution of Western because of its leadership. But they cannot succeed alone in that mandate. They need your help as members of the Western family. Many, if not most, of the world's problems will be solved by research, thinking, analysis, and policy development, all which take place at universities and in particular here at Western. Your university is Western, therefore your involvement creates what I've learned to call the virtuous cycle, whether it comes from your using Western for your own purpose or feelings of responsibility to the institution. And here are five specific actions that you personally can take as you join the Western family and begin your involvement in a new way. First, keep connected to the university wherever you go or whatever you do. Join an alumni group or start a new one. Take advantage of and make the network stronger. Two, through your alumni groups, develop interests in specific areas of excellence at Western and join individual faculty members in helping them achieve successful applications of their work into our society. Third, Help Western attract the next generation of the best and the brightest. 
tell potential students about your Western experience and encourage them to attend. Fourth, as you grow in your working life, recruit Western students as interns or full-time positions. There is no better place than your alma mater to hire from. And finally, think of Western as your partner. No matter the type of enterprise you join, you will always need a partner organization with which to conduct research, get advice, or help with a special project. This collaboration will help the knowledge base at Western to be used in solving the problems I referred to earlier. From my experience, the benefits of these kinds of commitments lead to great happiness and great satisfaction, and they truly become part of a more purposeful and a more fulfilling life. As my predecessors have said, this is an important and great time in your life when you are able to make choices. Hopefully you will have the wisdom and the will to seize the opportunity for yourself. My message is to help benefit the institution which has provided you with a platform from which to build your life. You will therefore be helping to improve the world for generations to come, which will provide a lasting foundation for this lasting relationship with your alma mater. Congratulations to you parents, friends, and family of the graduates. Many of you have contributed to making the privilege of the Western experience possible. Graduates, I wish you great success in developing a meaningful and a happy life. Thank you very much.